This video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. More about them at the end of the sketch. You're serious. You guys really don't have these in your dimension. I mean, no, I don't think so. How'd you pronounce that again? Wasps. I gotta say, that's that's a weird name. No, it's not. It sounds like you're saying was, and then you want to tell me a secret. Wasps. Oh, dang it. And so they're like really violent bugs. Very violent bugs. They'll sting you if they feel like it, and it'll hurt like crazy. Wow. Well, gee, uh, all right. Now, in your dimension, how many, how many nipples do you have? What, do the bugs do things to your nipples? I'm just curious. Six. Six! Wow! Anyway, yeah, very violent bugs. They're very good at killing things smaller than them and then hurting things that are bigger than them. They sound evil. They're pretty evil, yeah. I could give you a sample to take home if you want. Why would- no, I don't want a sample. I could just give you a handful. I don't want a handful of wasps. I'm gonna go check out another booth now, I think. If you swat one, it releases a pheromone that makes the others more violent- Okay, he's gone. Hi there, hello. Hey there, hi. What's this? What is this thing you do? Yeah, so this is a thing called social media algorithms. We're, we're actually pretty proud of them. Right? What is that mean? It's on this thing called the internet. You guys have the internet in your dimension? Oh, yeah, I think we used to have that, but people didn't like the sound that little box made, so it didn't really catch on. Okay, so in our dimension, people didn't really mind the sound, and so the internet caught on everywhere, and now algorithms are a thing. But what is, is it like a music thing? Like musical algebra? Or? No, it's not musical algebra. It's a thing that gets to know what kind of stories you respond to to try to keep you engaged. What do you mean? Well, for example, here's a story about a puppy being raised by a cat. You guys have cats and dogs? We do. Uh, yeah, that's cute. That's a cute story. And so then here's a story about a guy who was walking home from work and somebody cut his ear off. Oh my god, what? Ah, okay, see, seems like you really responded to this story. Okay, see, that's good to know. I mean, that, that's shocking. So yeah, I did react to that, sure. So okay, I'll show you more of this kind of thing. Seems like you like it. Well, I don't know if I like it. Yeah, seems like you were really into that story. Okay, now here's a story about some students that found a way to fight forest fires faster. Oh, no. Nice, that sounds, you know, that sounds like an important development. And here's a story about some students that went around starting forest fires on purpose. What? Why would they do that? Uh, okay, more interest in the second one I see. That's, see, already a pattern emerging. That's great. Well, I mean, obviously the second one made me angry, so that's a bigger reaction. Engagement is engagement to the algorithm. You're obviously very interested here. Okay. So then the algorithm would probably show you, well, first of all, it'd show you an ad for an addictive game you play on a telephone. What was that? Yeah, we get a lot of money to slip those in there. Don't worry about that. All right. Next up, we got a story about a bunch of criminals running around the streets causing problems, and another story about a really bad guy getting out of prison early. Oh, okay. Those both seem pretty negative. Can I hear more puppy stories, maybe? No, no, no. You had a much bigger reaction to the other stuff, so why would the algorithm keep showing you puppy stuff? I mean, oh, more about that ear-cutting attack. Looks like it was done by somebody who doesn't share your beliefs. Huh. Would you look at that? Yeah, figures. Yeah, they're different from you and they did some bad stuff. That feels good to know, doesn't it? It does make me feel a little good, because I know that people like me can't be the bad guys, you know? Yeah, and look at this. It turns out all that other bad stuff I mentioned, that was done by people different from you, too. Is that true? It certainly sounds that way, doesn't it? So it is. I didn't say that. I just presented it in the same way I present everything, so it's hard to tell fact from fiction. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. All right. You do? I do. Yeah, I get it. People with different views from me are the root of all evil. That could be the conclusion that someone comes to if it drives engagement ad for something that aligns with the beliefs you've shown. Huh. And so, yeah, that's about it. I'd say the algorithm has you engaged now. You're hooked. How do you feel? I feel angry and scared and like my thoughts are the only right ones. Yeah, well, you know, maybe it would help to engage with other like-minded individuals that have been exclusively exposed to the same content as you. You know, that does sound good. I got a lot of pent-up frustration now. I bet, I bet. So why don't you head over and talk to my colleague. He could take it from here. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, okay, I'll head over there. That sounds great. Yeah, you know, it gets pretty radical over here. Come on over. All right, see ya. Bye-bye now. I like your style. I like your style. Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Bespoke Post. If there's one thing I like, it's getting boxes of fun things delivered right to my front door. And I mean my front door on Earth, because every delivery guy that tries to bring stuff up here freezes and explodes. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands right to your front door on the planet Earth. That part's important. And the delivery people stay within Earth's atmosphere, so space is 
asphyxiation isn't even an issue here. Here are some cool bespoke post boxes I received at my Earth address. I got a cool trail survival kit with a bunch of cool items. Look, this book is full of great information on outdoor survival on the planet. I also got this great weekender carry-all bag from Line of Trade in which I can put things and then carry those things if I'm so inclined. What's great about bespoke post is that after you fill out a quiz on their website, they'll get to know the kind of stuff you want to receive. And you get to preview the boxes before they ship so you can decide to keep it, swap it, or just skip the month entirely at no charge. Every box has at least $70 in retail value, but only costs $45, so by doing some math, I think that's a, you know, that's a good deal. So hey, to get 20% off your first box, go to bspk.me slash ryangeorge20. Just click that link in the description and enter ryangeorge20 at checkout. Thanks, Bespoke Post. How?